everybody, it's Dude the 4th, and this is Let's Play Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke Challenge. And if you missed last episode, I recommend you watch it, because I caught a Mew and an Articuno in the same episode. No joke. So, this episode, we're going to continue exploring Pyrite Tower, see what mysteries lie within it, see what trainers lie within it, and see what Team Aqua and the Team Magma Goons are doing here. So let's explore, shall we? There's a guy over there. He looks suspicious. Let's talk to him. All sorts of beings wander the slopes of Mount Pyre. There's no telling what may happen. Take this, it's for your own good. And we got the cleanse tag. The cleanse tag, if you equip it to the front member of your Pokemon, or the Pokemon and the front member of your party, it kind of acts as a repel, sort of. And it uh, repels a lot of the Pokemon. So if you're wanting to use that throughout the tower, by all means, but for me, since this is a randomizer and we're about to find yet another Pokemon, I'd rather not. And we find a Nuzleaf. Although a Nuzleaf would be a good Pokemon to catch, I still hold that an Articuno is better. Pokemon Switch. Uh, ha 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 ha. Let's see, Nuzleaf. Yeah, we gotta go over Vlad on this one. Uh, Tesla and Venusaur just can't handle it. Not yet, anyway. Not yet. Alright, so Nature Power turns into Swifts. It uses Swifts. Ouch. Ah, a little bit of damage, not too bad. How uh, about we use a Wing Attack? I will use a Wing Attack on this Nuzleaf, and then I will suck its blood. Ah, ah, ah. It's super effective. And it dies. Ah, ah, ah. And we got some experience all around. I need to move this EXP share now that I'm thinking about it, so let's go ahead and do that, shall we? I get the XP share. Let's give it to Tesla since he's not currently in front right now. What the? Nope. Get items. Thank you. And Tesla's giving the XP share. Alright, so now that we have the XP share, let's continue on forward. Uh, we could go left, but left doesn't take us anywhere except for finding a Pokemon. Game. Right in the feels. Right in the feels, game. Right there. Making me think about the king of the jungle and the skeptile that I had. And all of a sudden you bring out a grovile. Wow, that's nice. Anyway, let's go ahead and meet you guys whenever I'm done with this battle. So long, everybody. Alright, so we're back. And it's kind of ironic that we run into grovile, I guess. Because, uh, you know, because we can run into things. Uh, would this count? I don't think it would count if I find anything here, because we're technically on the same floor of Mount Pyre. Even though it's a different area, and I said it was by floor, so if I find anything here, I can't catch it. But I did find an item down there. I wouldn't know how to go about getting it, except by going down there, so there we go. So we can't catch whatever this is, and it's Tauros! Uh, Tauros isn't too bad. Uh, not really missing out on much. Not really, anyway. Uh, Tauros is, uh, attacking powerhouse, to be said. But, you know, she's a leech seed. And go ahead and knock it down a few pecks. She's using a horn attack. It's horny. I shouldn't have said that, but I did. You know, that's something I was kind of expecting in 6th generation. Uh, in X and Y. I think I mentioned this before, how I thought that, uh, there's gonna be, like, a pre-evolution of Miltank and Tauros. So, you know, like a calf Pokemon, depending if it was like male or female, it would evolve into either Tauros or Miltank, respectively. And, you know, I think that honestly just makes as much, that just makes sense to me. Like, that should happen. Nintendo, you should pay attention to this. I'm probably not the only one that came up with this suggestion. I mean, you know, you're looking for free evolutions as well as powerful Pokemon, you know, so why not? You made it to like a cute, derpy calf or cow or something, so why not, right? Anyway, we got ourselves a skill swap. Uh, skill swap's pretty good for, uh, if you use a slocking, then a uh, skill swap is useful if you, like, use skill swap on your opponent so that way it gets truant. And we find a Cyndaquil. like to catch one of those, but can't do that. Can't let you do that, Starbucks. And let's go ahead and switch Pokemon. Uh, we want out... 
Azumarill. Azumarill doesn't get to see that much action, and Azumarill can easily handle the Cyndaquil. Ha! My Azumarill laughs at your pitiful attempt to kill me. Meanwhile, take this! Surf's up, bra! And you're dead. Congratulations, thank you for dying. We got ourselves some experience. Not too bad, I guess. And now uh, we're gonna go ahead and see what's up here. I hope I'm not sequence breaking whenever I do this. I shouldn't be. Oh, well, maybe I am. Maybe I am sequence breaking. Alright, we found a max potion. Heals you up no matter how much HP you're down to. If you have 999 HP, and you're down to 1, it'll heal at 998 HP. So, let's go ahead and check things out, shall we? I think this is where we actually need to go. Story-wise. Uh, so let's see. Venusaur, you're pretty much good to go. Let's do this. Har, Too bad for you! If you came earlier, you would have been battling the Whippy Team Magma! But since you arrived now, you have to take on us, Tuppies! Uh, but I wanted to battle Team Magma. It's not very often I get to battle the Team Magma Mafia. Which, by the way, that's what I'm gonna call them now, the Team Magma Mafia. I thought of it once and I was eating lunch, and I was like, it works so perfectly, so why not? Anyway, Venusaur is gonna handle this like it's, like it's its job. No problem at all, Razor Leaf. Whoop! You're dead. And... Because you die, we gain experience. Tesla gains experience, too. And we defeated Champion Jill. That was so easy, even a, even Twitch plays Pokemon could do it. Arr, I should have let you take it on Team Magma Mafia first. And we got money for winning. 640 gold doubloons. Yarr! Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next pirate. Yarr, no! The Team Magma Mafia goons got ahead of us. We can't fall behind. We be battling more pirates. And Champion Pirate Scarlet would like to battle, and he sends out a Zubats! Meanwhile, I have my Venusaur! Well, I mean, Venusaur is not going to do so good now, is it? So I'll be switching back, heading back to the poop deck, and sending out Tesla instead. Yarrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Alright, this is gonna be a fun day for Venusaur. Anyway, the Wailma is using Water Pulse. It's gonna do a little bit of damage to Venusaur. Not too bad. I was thinking it was gonna confuse it for a minute, but nope. It's good. Let's go ahead and use the Thunder Punch on that Carvana there, in case if it doesn't die. Which it might not. And again, the Wailma might not die either. But hey, that takes care of that Carvana. Oh, that was Thunder Punch. Never mind. No, that was Razor Leaf. Never mind. And the whales survive! Looks like you can use the whales. WHALES! I'm having too much fun with this. Anyway, Thunder Punch the whales. And the whales have died! And Venusaur and Tesla gain some experience. And... Left Guy's gonna send out his Zubats. Well... You're not gonna be of much use, but... I'm just gonna go ahead and have you leech seed anyway. And then we're gonna go ahead and Thunder Punch this guy. So, Leech Seed. And I would do my pirate voice, but I've already done taking it off for the whales. Which is more than worth it. In my opinion. Anyway, Thunder Punch kills the Zubat. So that takes care of that. Zubat. That rhymes. And everybody gains experience, and Champion Malcolm Forest Pirates were defeated. Yarrr! If you were gonna mess with anyone, let it be Team Magma Mafia! If you want to join Team Aqua that badly, we can consider it for a price. Meanwhile, I'd be getting 1,200 doubloons! Doubloons! That was a good doubloons. Doubloons! Laboon! No. Uh, so let's see here. Ah, uh, we're still... Well, might want to heal Venusaur. Actually, I might want to heal everybody, just because I think we're about to have a boss battle. Alright, so let's go ahead and heal up everybody. Take care of that. And that. And that. You know, I could have used an orange berry for that, but I don't care. And that. Alrighty. We're good to go. Uh. Is Venusaur. Well, not really sure. But I guess Venusaur would be the one to have. So let's go ahead and take care of business. Team Magma's Maxi got ahead of us, but we also got what we wanted. The Red Wolf has served at Mount Fire. I, Archie, now have it in my position. <laughs> now, we can bring your ultimate objective to fruition. Alright team, we be pulling out. Oh, I thought we were about to have a boss battle for a minute. Oh no, this cannot happen. Not only the Blue Orb, but even the Red Orb has been taken. The blue orb and red orb must never be separated. They belong together. What are those men trying to do with it, you orbs? Oh, yes. Was it Team Magma who came to take a blue orb first? Well, in their haste, they left this behind. I couldn't imagine what exactly it could be. I would like you to have it. Perhaps it will be useful in some way. Now I got the Magma Emblem. We put away the Magma Emblem in the key item's pocket. The blue orb and red orb taken by the sinister men. They must never be apart. I fear something terrible may happen. Mount Pyre is where we calm the spirits of Pokemon that have passed on. This is a high place where one can see all of Owen. The disembodied spirits of Pokemon must find solace here. Is it coincidence that you are here? Will you hear out my tale? A tale long told in the Hoenn region? Sure, why not? It happened long, long ago. The world was wrecked by a ferocious clash between the Pokémon of the land and the Pokémon of the sea. The Pokémon of the land raised mountains and created continents. The Pokémon of the sea raised huge waves and carved out oceans. Their fierce duel raged without end. The world was engulfed in massive infernos and vicious storms. The blue orb and the red orb brought an end to the calamity. Light poured from the two orbs and becalmed the enraged adversaries. The pair, made docile, dove deep into the sea, where they eventually, they disappeared. And thus is the story's mythology of this entire game. Also, if you notice those three points up there, those three points kind of hinted at whenever they were in Ruby and Sapphire that there would be a third game coming out. Because it's a red and a blue orb, but what's that top one there? So, that's what they thought of. Anywho, 
Uh, let's go ahead and explore the area, see if we can find items. Or just Pokemon, I guess. Uh, nope. Thought there would be items somewhere. I guess not. Well, let's check this way, just to be sure. Huh. I think there would be an item somewhere. Ah, there we go. As I said, they wouldn't put a dead end over here for nothing. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and head over this side and see if there's some kind of... Well, oh, what's over here, though? Oh, well, that's nice. Nope, nothing, nothing, nothing. Alright. Well, anyway, enough screwing around. Let's head on out of here. We got ourselves a magma emblem. What could that possibly mean? Uh, well, I have a good idea of what it could possibly mean. But, uh... Not entirely too sure of that just yet. Let's go ahead and exit the place and maybe the game will give us a hint. If not, then, well, I'll pretty much tell you where we need to go. But anyway, we got ourselves a spoink. SPOINK! So we need to go ahead and use Venusaur in order to handle the spoink! Except for the fact that I'm poison type, so that's not a good idea. Uh, go sell it, Snake. I need a drink. Good lord, all those pirate voices. Experience out of it all. Definitely not worth it. Anyway, I'm going on down. Uh, you know what? I think it might be a good idea to explore the rest of Mount Pyre. No, let's do that. Let's explore Mount Pyre a little bit. I think that might be a fun idea. But be warned that there are a lot of trainer battles in here. So. Well. Yeah, let's go ahead and explore Mount Pyre. Because uh, there are items here and certain things that we can get here. And I think there's actually something important that we need to get here. So we may as well just continue on our way. So let's go ahead and battle these two trainers, shall we? Hey. Are you researching for Pokemon? You came after long after me. You're rude. You are an unfamiliar sight. Departs before anything befalls you. Befalls you. Dr. Alex and Ghost Rider Rachel want to battle. Dr. Alex sends out a Rhyhorn and Ghostmaster Rachel sends out a Spoink. Well, apparently Dr. Alex has a doctorate in Charizard cosplay, I guess. I don't know. I don't know where I was going along with that one. But uh, Venusaur is going to use Razor Leaf to kill the right horn, do a little bit of damage to Spoink. Tesla is going to switch places, and he's going to send out Mr. Uh, Solid Snake over there. Solid Snake for the win. And Re Razor Leaf to hit both people. And Rhyhorn dies, just as I expected. Well, it's a good thing you're at a grave, because you just died. And Spoink takes a little bit of damage. And everybody getting some experience from that. Spoink uses Confuse Ray. I like saying Spoink for some reason. Kind of like the Celio sort of thing. And Bellipper. As well as other Pokemon names I like using. Uh, Venusaur. I'm gonna go ahead and use... Uh, let's use Leech Seed. And Solid Snake. Let's use Rock Throw. And still don't know what Magic Coat does, although I would have already explained it to you by now. What it does. And Venusaur is confused. Heard itself confusion, because that's always fun. I love doing that. And Rock Throw, but it missed. Hooray! Pointless turns are pointless. Let's do it again. Let's do the time warp. No, I'm just kidding. I actually don't know how that song goes, so I can't sing it. I've heard this, I've heard references to it plenty of times, but I don't know how the song goes. I've never even seen Rocky Horror Picture Show. So, yeah. Let the flame war begin in my comments. Confuse Ray. I'm confused. Goody, now we're both confused. I love being confused, it's always fun. And I hurt myself confusion. Oh, goody. Well, the good news is I got that leech seed on you, so that way I can at least heal and do a little bit of damage, even if I don't do any <laughs> thing, because hiccuping is a thing. 
Alrighty, let's use poison powder on it, because that thing's going to be annoying. I snapped out of confusion! And poison seed is now in effect. I should find Toxic and probably teach it to Venusaur. Place it with poison powder so I can do the Toxic Seed combo. Oh my god, okay. Phew! Well, that was close. That was close indeed. My question is, is how am I going to do the Elite Four? I mean, I guess I'm allowed to use items and stuff, but I always have a Pokemon die during the Elite Four, so I guess I'll just probably, like, chaff to reset or something, kind of like I do with Fire Emblem. Uh, anywho, let's see. Uh, Razor Leaf and Rock Throw, I guess. Uh, I have been really paying attention, because I've been talking to you guys. Psybeam! <laughs> That's dangerously close! Oh no... Oh, I already attacked. Okay. And rock throw. Alright, thank god that's done. Ah... Uh, Jesus, I thought I was about to lose Venus over there for a minute. I was like... Nyeh. I'm sorry, forgive me, please. Nah, I shouldn't forget because you almost killed my Venusaur. Hmm, you're adorable. And we got money for winning. Money. Yeah, sure. And let's go ahead and heal. Just Lord knows I need it. Let's see. Uh, we're 24 minutes in. I think we can go ahead and stop here. So, uh, alright, so we managed to go ahead, stopped, and find out that Team Magma and Aqua have both stolen the red orb and the blue orb from Mount Pyre. And now, next time, we're gonna explore Mount Pyre and see what secrets it holds. So, until then, so long everybody, and God bless.